So this question comes from Chris S. Um, I was wondering, in one of your videos, you told a college student that as a part-time job, computer repair is an okay idea, uh, but being a computer repair consultant, freelancer, is an okay idea. Uh, I, I wouldn't want to go to Geek Squad to do computer repair, but anyways. Uh, you also said that electronic repair, like swapping out capacitors and things like that, is a good job at the moment. Eh, not what I was meaning. Uh, I was wondering if you could elaborate on this, what kinds of electronics and such. Looking around my home, I don't really see anything that would need much electronic repair unless my flat screen TV counts or my microwave or such. Thanks. No! 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 Don't do it! Don't! That's not what I meant! <sighs> oh, the lament as you see somebody's career go off a cliff, because that's not what I meant. Okay, so I was talking about computer repair or whatever. This, this kid was asking about a part-time job as a computer freelancer. Um, you know, going out there and repairing people's computers, you know, whatever, pick up 50 bucks, 100 bucks. Uh, and I said, again, as a part-time job for a college student, that's a great idea. Part-time job doing computer repair at Best Buy, eh, I guess it's better than flipping a burger, but yeah. Um, and in that, I talked about uh, electronics and that electronics is coming back. So again, if you start talking about things like computer repair, and one of the questions you have to ask yourself is, is what do you really mean by that? Now, there's a lot of snarky little twitty-ass noobs out there that really get their little panties in a bunch. Uh, whenever I do things like talk about computer repair or laptop repair or building a computer, and they say, well, that's not, that's not really building a computer, Eli. That's assembling a computer. Don't you know the difference between assembling a computer and building a computer? Are you soldering? Are you soldering? Are you using an oscilloscope? No, I don't see an oscilloscope there. Right? And it's like, oh, what's wrong with you people? But anyways, right? So when these little snarky little twits are trying to sound impressive and only making themselves so, sound even more stupid, um, that is taking things, again, they're, they're just trying to make themselves sound cool. But there is a little bit of a point in, the, in what they're saying, is, is the question of, is when you talk about building computers or repairing devices, what are you doing? Or si are you simply swapping components, or are you actually repairing? Are you, are you, are you pulling out ca capacitors and resistors and resoldering them and all of that kind of stuff? And so I was talking about uh, doing that kind of work is actually what is called electronics. So there's computer repair, and computer repair is swapping power supplies and all that kind of stuff, and then electronics. And so the difference between computer repair and electronics is imagine a power supply on a desktop PC fails, right? So me, I, even though I am certified in electronic repair, what am I going to do? I'm going to take out the power supply, toss it, buy a new power supply and plug it in. That is computer repair. Electronics, though, an electronic technician would pull out the old power supply, open it up, find out what component, generally what capacitor blew, uh, pull out that capacitor, uh, replace that capacitor, make sure the, the, the power supply works, and then put it back in, right? So that's, that's the difference between computer repair and electronics. Now, for a long time, basically the, the electronic repair industry and the, the whole electronics thing has been going downhill uh, because obviously more and more technology is simply uh, not user accessible. You just It's not user repairable. So uh, so again, I, I did electronic repair in the Army. That's what I was originally certified for. I went through 900 hours of electronics training. Um, and the thing is, is what a lot of people don't understand with electronics is in order to do electronics repair, much of the time, uh, equipment has to be built so that it is repairable, right? So normally, like when we, we dealt with army equipment that we could repair, uh, you have a one, what's called a one-layer circuit board. And so on the top of the circuit board is all the components. You have your IC chip, you have your resistors, you have your capacitors, you have all that kind of stuff. You have the little wire lines or whatever they're called uh, to, to send energy around. Uh, and then on the bottom of it, you have all your solder points. 
right? So if your IC chip blows or if your capacitor blows or anything like that, basically what happens is you troubleshoot to figure out what component blew. You would then flip the thing over, you desolder that component so that you can pull it out. You put the new component in, you solder that in, and away you go. You just did electronic repair. The problem is in the modern world is that um, in order to make these devices lighter and lighter and lighter and smaller and smaller and smaller, what they've, they've started doing or what they started doing a long time ago is what are called these multi-layer boards. So before, like if you looked at old army equipment, you would have one board and that would be screwed into the housing and then you'd have another board screwed into the housing, another board screwed into the housing. So you'd figure out which module had failed, you pull out that module, figure out which component on the module failed, swap out that component. The issue now is what happens is they all of those different uh, boards that we had before, what they do is uh, when it's being manufactured, they put all the components on and everything, and then they actually laminate and seal them together. So now, instead of having one board that you can access from the bottom, you have two, three, four, five, ten layers of board, all that have basically been fused together as one component. The issue is there is then, I mean, if you want to do repair, how do you, how do you get to the solder point? The solder point, they're... they're I can laminate it in there. Just you can't do it uh, without doing a, a lot of duct taping and stuff that, that it just isn't worth the time. And so that's why the whole field of electronic repair really has been going downhill, is because uh, the, these components have just become been becoming uh, less and less and less what what's called user serviceable. So I start talking about how I would argue that being an electronics technician is making a comeback, and that is not. That is not so that you can you can fix your little LCD TV downstairs. I know there are some people out there that apparently fix these LCD TVs, and they say they make all this money doing it. Again, not, not what I want to what would want to do in life. Where I would argue of the future of being an electronics technician really is starting to bloom and blossom is in the whole idea of the Internet of Things world, the IoT world. And so we have all of these new computer devices uh, that are able to interact with the physical world. So we have like the Raspberry Pi uh, computers, right? So the Raspberry Pi, it was a small computer. It came out originally for $25. They just came out with a $5 version of the Raspberry Pi. So you have the Raspberry Pi, you have Arduino boards, you have other things, Galileo, you have just a whole ton of uh, these little uh, computers that are coming out now. And the thing with these computers is, is these computers are being built not simply to display something onto a monitor, you know, keyboard, mouse, monitor, uh, but they're, they're being built so they can interact with other things. So you can have temperature sensors, you can have the little computer uh, turn on lights or turn off lights, you can have solar cells, you can have laser. Basically, like with the Arduino boards, uh, they're, they're called shields. And so what you do is you take these shields, you connect those to the Arduino board. Those are shields do some kind of function. Again, maybe they're a thermostat, maybe they're a light detector, uh, maybe they, they turn power switches on or off, maybe they turn servos on and off, they do all kinds of things, right? So what I would argue with electronics technicians now is you learn how these Arduino boards work or how the Raspberry Pi works, and you can start creating computer-controlled electronic devices. So uh, so that, that's what's really cool. So you can start creating... Um, uh, the, these these autonomous devices that are really quite sophisticated. So I know one person in the area. They were talking about their high school kid, and their high school kid created Bambi Bot. <laughs> let me let me make sure my wife can't hear me right now. <laughs> if you are a vegan, please go away, right? Because what they have is always Bambi Bot, right? And so with Bambi Bot, it's this uh, it's this little uh, paintball robot. So they have this problem of a uh, deer coming into their yard or whatever and eating flowers and all that kind of stuff. So he used like an Arduino board or something along those lines to create bo Bambi Bot. So what Bambi Bot is, is it has motion detectors and I don't quite understand how it all works, but it has motion detectors and all that. So when a deer comes into the area, it swivels around the, uh, the paintball gun and literally starts shooting Bambi with paintballs. <laughs> That's what you can do in the modern world, right? So that is what I would argue when we start talking about electronics technicians. And what I would argue is a brave, new, awesome world is all of these really highly customizable devices instead of, again, you know, I mean, 
the computer industry, you know, building computers was really good money for a long time, but really all it was was, you know, screwing motherboards into cases, sliding in some cards, away you go. I would argue now it's this idea of how can you create really, 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 really cool things. How can you walk, can you walk in to like a wealthy person's um, mansion or whatever and look for for physical solutions to problems, right? You know, whatever it is, you know, Bambi bonds, or how to make sure the right flowers get the right amounts of water. Um, just all kinds of like weird stuff, and so you can have these computer devices that then connect to this physical stuff, and that's where you need that electronics. You need to know, uh, you know, amperage, you need to know voltage, you need to know how to step up power, step down power, you need to be able to learn how to do all those things so that little computer device can then actually trigger some other kind of other physical event to happen. So that, that is where I would say uh, electronics technicians have a bright, nice future, especially things like radio signals and all that kind of stuff. Lots of cool stuff there. Uh, but no, it is not, it is not replacing capacitors um, out of, out of LCD TVs. Again, can you make a couple bucks doing that? Yeah, sure, fine. Um, but that's not, that's not profession. That's not something where it's like, yeah, that's going to be doing something good for you in five years. That's like, yeah, whatever. Um, like, like that was one of the things, like, uh, I was at one of these maker fairs, uh, Ed Mullen, the guy who does the robotics center had this maker fair thing and um and one of the guys there that he uh he he, he reverse engineered the the ir the infrared inter interface for one of these remote control cameras and so what he did is he connected in a, a home built ir interface to his computer he then connected a uh, connect one of those uh, those motion sensor connects to his computer and then he created with the programming so he could control the helicopter simply using his hands. So when he wanted the helicopter to lift, instead of having a remote control, he could just raise his hands and the helicopter would lift up. If he wanted to go left or right, he would just do these things, right? And that's the type of thing I would argue uh, is the future of electronics technician, electronic stuff. Um, again, yeah, not not swapping power supply, uh, swapping capacitors out of power supplies. Um, so that is my thought. That is my thought. I hope I got to you soon enough. I hope I, I hope I got to him soon enough.